Hello everybody, Nolan of Black Diamond Services. I'm out at a empty house. So this is for a real estate agent. Um, they also do estate sales. I guess this house has been vacant for two years, but uh, I should say it still had everything in it. Um, and up until probably a couple weeks ago. So I gave her an estimate, I don't know, probably two months ago. And um, of course there's some new stuff. It looks like grease stains. And then um, this is some old carpet, you could tell, where it never was walked on. It's basically brand new. And to confirm that even more so, where furniture was sitting, look how blue it looks in comparison. So um, this is just getting cleaned up for the sale of the home. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting miracles, but I would like to perform one here and get this looking the best it can. There's, of course, upstairs and uh, two bedrooms and a little office slash loft thing there. So um, I believe this is three three bedrooms, if I'm not mistaken. we got one in here. That's kind of a double room almost. So you could tell where stuff was sitting for a long period of time. It looks near new in some sections. So my goal is to just get obviously all this debris and soil up. So let's get this started. All right, gonna start with a clear canister as usual. This place was also recently painted. Now, if you're a cleaner or a aspiring cleaner, if anybody ever mentions that they're going to be painting, make sure you have at least 48 hours between finished paint of baseboards or anything really, um, walls, at least baseboards and walls, due to the fact that you are cleaning with you know, hot water extraction or basically steam, depending on how hot your machine gets and that you run the risk of the paint bleeding. So you gotta let them know that there needs to be a 48 hour gap or risk of bleeding the paint. So uh, they said that the baseboards were done or finished, I think something like four days ago. So we're in the clear. Make sure you're using your corner guards and stuff like that to protect the home always, but in this situation even more so, so we don't cause any issues. So I may be moving just a pinch slower today. Uh, this is actually my only job. It's a decent sized job. a slight irritation in my back so I'm just gonna be taking it a little easy going a little slower it's an empty house which is perfect so I don't have to be on anybody's time time frame here at all Nobody was in this house for like two years. So I was, they've probably done some kind of vacuuming at some point. Uh, otherwise, I would kind of have to expect this to be filling up at this point, because even if someone's not in it, dust does settle. And just a few little things I gotta pick up there um, and cause buildup over time. So, I think at some point it's been vacuumed a bit. May have been a while, or before contractors came in and did any work, but. I'm still picking up a little bit of stuff, and I see plenty of debris in this house. That warrants a 
vacuum prior to cleaning. So I'll try and get as much footage of this job as I can. Like I said, I'm going to be kind of taking it a little slow today. And I appreciate you guys watching the other videos that I've recently done. I've had two pretty uh, bad ones recently that made for a great video. So if you haven't checked those out, they are the last, last one I uploaded. And then I think a, a video or two back before that, there was another one that was pretty bad. I think I called it like extreme pet urine. And then the last one was, I believe, called uh, wrecked carpet. Because, I mean, it's 20 years old. It definitely needed some attention. It cleaned up really well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't yet. If you want to see some really dirty carpet get clean. Another thing you should always go over with your client is this is not staining. It is sun fading. As you could tell, right where the blinds were across, where the sun would hit in the afternoon, would come through here, and it causes sun fading, which gets basically bleaches out the color of UV. So that is something you should always mention or note, as it has been a long time, but someone tried to accuse me of not getting the staining out and um yeah that's literally not it there's nothing you could do you could clean the area clean the fibers but it is faded and it will not come back unless you happen to know how to uh color correct the carpet um which at this age of this carpet and the fact that it's being sold the house um it wouldn't be worth the money surprisingly not a full canister but you can see it's a lot of fine dust Don't know if I'll see kick out on this. Uh, I had somebody asking to do more videos with kick out and it is literally just a result of what is in the carpet. There is no guarantee that it will happen, but I do try and film it anytime it happens and put it in the video. So bear with me if you don't see it. It's not because I'm not doing it or filming it. It's just not happening on that specific job. But I do appreciate you watching and commenting and asking to see stuff like that. I do always try and get it. Um, some videos I will do a lot of something. Some videos I won't do as much. So I like to mix it up because otherwise it gets a little redundant and probably boring to watch. So if it's just rinsing out, there's a reason for it. If it is vacuuming, CRB, rinsing, Scotch guard the whole nine yards. Um, there is definitely a reason for it. So it's it's based on what the client wants. Um, so if they don't want Scotch guard, you know you're not going to see the raking probably in most cases, just because that's kind of the point of it is to rake the carpet, get your footprints out after you treat it with the carpet protectant, and also to um, basically groom in the protector. So different videos, different things. So you will see more, I assure you. Um, just, you know, I appreciate you guys' time, even watching it, liking it, and leaving comments. The more you guys do stuff like that, the more the algorithm of YouTube works in conjunction with this channel and will allow more people to see it just like you. So I appreciate your time um, and, the, you know, everything else that comes with, you know, asking questions and things like that. I do try and answer the best I can. Bear with me if I don't get to you right away. Um, if it's something particular to a job I did, I do try to answer the best uh, based off my knowledge and what I can remember from that specific job. As I do anywhere between one, two, three jobs a day, trying to remember specifics is a little difficult. If it's a pretty nasty one, sometimes I can remember majority of what was done, uh, pre-spray and all. So, ask away. Thank you. Alright, so I'm upstairs.
majority of them you can't see, but in this area, kind of in the hallway, there is some urine staining. Uh, you can't see it um, unless you got UV light on it. So this area has been treated. It's not bad, but it is present. And then downstairs there's a little bit too. Not much. Here's your first kick out. Now, I know some have asked in the past, why don't you have the things that catch all the kick out? And while it may be helpful, you know, people do like to see that kick out, but also, the amount of time it takes for me to clean those after each job, as opposed to vacuuming all this stuff up. Also, the strap that holds this onto its caddy isn't big enough, so I have to take them off every single time. To me, it feels like it'll take me longer to do that. So, between people wanting to see what's coming out of the carpet and the time it takes to clean those out. It's just my preference. Not saying it's the only way, the right way to do it. But based on what I'm trying to do and I'm showing it in the video why the CRB is important. That just kind of gives you more of a a wow factor.
master bedroom. This carpet is doing all right for its age. Mostly just wear. But it's still due to its age and who knows when it was last cleaned. Like I said, it's been empty. Uh, I, I should say nobody's been in it for two years. So yeah, two years of dust to settling and random contractors coming through. Plus however many years prior to that that it was used with no cleaning. I would have to assume anywhere between four and seven years. So carpet is still shaping up to be a little blue in the traffic areas, but because the fibers are worn down, it's still not going to look fantastic, but it will be clean and will be reasonably presentable to get the house sold because if it were me and I was buying it, I would rip it out. But, you know, coming into a clean house that you're considering purchasing is always nice, too, because it tells you there's a little bit less work that needs to be done because it was painted inside, so you don't have to worry about that. But otherwise, this house just needs some updates here and there. But yeah, there's a bunch of furniture that used to sit right there, so there's furniture stains. So I think they may have had like a smaller dog and might be lifting its leg on on the edge of the furniture because there's multiple spots that uh, suggest that. Not even done yet. It's already looking nice and dirty. Chocolate milk here almost.
last little bit of room. Final water dump. Let's take a look at what we got. To be expected. This time around it's even darker. Thank you for watching this video. I hope there's something about it that you enjoyed, whether it was something I talked about or the cleaning of course itself which is probably what most of you are here for so if you want to see more definitely make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so it sends you everything that I put out until next time you guys have a wonderful day